Hello there, welcome to Passivern. In this video, I'm going to review a Sidekick browser, which is one browser and an alternative of Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Firefox, etc. etc. This is one productivity uh, software or productivity browser that will improve your productivity. According to them, they have some amazing feature that other browsers will not provide you. So we will try to explore in this video what are the features that can differentiate this Sidekick browser with uh, other um, existing browsers actually. And see, they have launched their lifetime deal on AppSumo only one day ago. Within this time, they have gotten four five-star reviews on AppSumo. As you can see, this person has bought 80 deals from AppSumo. He is giving here five-star review. And this person has bought 255 deals from AppSumo. He is also giving here five-star review. So I think the software is not that bad. And their lifetime deal pricing is here. License tier one pricing is 49 USD. Here you can have all features above. As you can see here, these are the features and one user you can have. But if you need built-in VPN, pre-installed apps, team roles, shared apps, and five users, then you have to upgrade to license tier two. On license tier three, you will get up to 20 users hope you get idea now without further ado let's go to the dashboard of sidekick browser and let's explore how things works and how it can be helpful for us actually you do not have to go to any um, dashboard we are inside sidekick uh, browser as you can see here this is the sidekick browser i'm inside sidekick browser right now and i'm recording this video inside sidekick browser so what do you have to do you have to go to their website and you have to download your um, software as you can see, they have software in Microsoft. Also, you can directly download it from here. Just click here and download it and install it. And after you install, then as you can see here, boom, this is the browser that it will look like actually. And here, a lot of customization features are available that we will explore one by one. But, and the thing is, you do not have to start completely from the beginning. Let's say you are already using one of the browser like Chrome, Microsoft Edge or Brave browser and they have one feature. If I go to their setting from here, uh, as you can see here, this is the setting and from here you can import all your bookmarks and setting from your existing browser. From here you have to uh, select your browser and you can select your browser, you can uh, import all the browsing history, favorites and bookmarks, you can import all the saved passwords and extension in just one click it will not take more than uh, 20 seconds actually i have already imported as you can see here all my uh, softwares has been imported and all my um, extensions here has been uh, imported so they have imported all the things that i have used in my existing browser actually hope you get idea guys in this way you can import all the data from your existing browser so the thing is you do not have to start completely from the beginning after you import you will get all your bookmarks here in this section as you can see here this is the collection and these are the bookmarks these are my bookmarks there have two bookmarks and this is a demo uh, account actually that's why not much data is available but see here these are the bookmarks your bookmarks will be added like that you can add nested collection just click here on this plus icon and then let's say uh, folder one and then in this folder will be created and inside this folder i will create let's say folder 1.2 and then it will be created so in this way you can create as many as bookmark you want to create and then you can bookmark them let's say i want to bookmark this tab here so i will simply click here and i will select where i want to bookmark and then see they will be added inside this bookmark hope you get idea guys in this way you can see all your collections here in this section as you can see there have one small button like collection and task or there have the shortcut alt c and see these are the collections and there have task management feature also you can add your task let's say video um, video record this is one task and then let's say uh, go go to bed this is one task so you can see all your tasks on the sidebar of your browser and then whenever one um, a uh, step or one task will be done just tick here just tick here just tick here and then this task management feature can um, be very helpful uh, to increase the productivity of your life actually hope you get idea guys about this collection and task section guys in this way it will work and then the thing that i want to show you is their search feature as you can see this is the search feature here simply you can search anything that you like to search let's say i will search here nike anything you can search here as you can see here uh, it's 
completely uh, as same as uh, we get on our other browsers actually and you can visit to the websites wherever you like to visit as you can see here this is the website of nike um, and in this way it will work actually as you can see everything is very smooth and you can browse any um, website you can browse anywhere on the internet here and then i i will show you the split view they have the split view as you can see here these are the split view section and see i have some opened um, website here like pc1.com then pc1 google search komodo screen recorder then pc1 google search and then here one and sidekick browser productivity uh, lifetime deal apps mobile page so let's say i want to see this one and this one side by side as you can see this nike website and this appsumo website are now side by side as you can see you can increase or decrease and you can keep one um, on one side and you can browse another so in this way it will work actually and see this browser sir or this uh, websites are very uh, responsive actually uh, they are fitting with our width uh, very uh, nicely hope you get idea so this is the split view that you will get here inside this sidekick browser and if you do not like to keep this split um, view anymore then just click here and then split view will be uh, gone actually hope you get idea after that there have uh, app open in split view let's say you want to open your maybe what uh, here whatsapp on your sidebar so you can just open it as you can see here this is the whatsapp uh, on your sidebar or on your split view it will be shown and I haven't uh, logged into my WhatsApp here. I have to log in, uh, but you can log in here and you can uh, use this WhatsApp or Telegram or Discord or Slack, whatever you like. From here, you can keep it on the left hand side and you can browser on other platforms. And then I will show you the uh, extension. Let's say you want to install one extension. All extensions are available here. Let's say I'll select here Grammarly. Grammarly extension. Here, if I search it, and see here this is the grammarly extension now if i visit to this um, website here simply we can add this extension on this sidekick browser as you can see here it's uh, installing and then it will be installed finally as you can see here it's installing and after the install as you can see all the um, extensions we will be able to see here and we can pin them here if we want as you can see i have already pinned three of my extension Hope you get idea guys about this extension section of um, this uh, sidekick browser in this way it will work actually after that they have app customization feature uh, let me um, uh, here finish this split view as you can see these are the apps all your frequently used apps you can keep here as you can see i have kept here my whatsapp my gmail my discord telegram and then notion whenever you will click on these um, icons then here you will be able to see uh, the accounts actually i haven't logged in here but if you log in you will be able to access so these are the things hope you get idea here see this is figma this is um, zoom and then they have instagram so anything that you want to add here you can add to add what you have to do just click here on this plus icon and then here search your app as you can see lots of apps are available and if the app is not available still you can add it just click here on this add from tab uh, or sorry uh, add custom app and here insert the app url app name and uh, custom icon you can upload and then it will be added but let's say we want to add here miro so just simply click here miro and then click on this add application and then this miro will be added here as you can see miro has been added here but they have more important and amazing feature let's say you have multiple miro account or you have multiple telegram account you have multiple discord account now in other browsers what we have to do we have to log out from one um, discord account or one from one account and then we have to log in to another but on sidekick browser what you can do you can log in to multiple account at a single time as you can see on um, gmail i have logged into uh, two uh, two account as you can see here this is one account and then this is another account and i can very easily switch from one account to another account hope you get idea guys in this way it will work actually similar uh, thing you can do on discord on telegram on notion or in any other uh, 
platform or in any other software actually you can have here multiple um, account login feature which is very important for online workers actually i think so this is one really amazing feature that i like of this sidekick browser hope you get idea guys how things works here and then they have the option to customize your app as you can see you can uh, customize any app from here just click here and say, then they have option always open in split view you can always keep it open on split view if you want and then they have option um, another option let me show you like pin at sidebar do not suspend and then remove from workspace you can remove it from here you can add custom icon and you can change the name let's say the name of this software is notion but i want to keep the name is uh, pesifarn as you can see the name will be changed automatically and you can save it so in this way you can change the name of the software on your view actually you can play sound and you can close the app from here hope you get idea guys how these things will be worked here and here in case of this discord i have enabled this option always open in a split view that's why it's in a split view but i do not want it that's why i will disable it and then from here i will disable it hope you get idea guys how these things will be worked here after that they have one really awesome option which is organize your um, browser or organize your feature actually as you can see they have one button if you just click here then see they have active session you can organize your sessions actually here here this is one session as you can see when i have activated this session they have this browser but let's say now i want to explore some tech news and i can create my tech news um, sessions here as you can see i have created here this tech news sessions where i have three different uh, three different websites uh, set up if i just click on this activate then in one click then all the things will be changed all the websites will be changed from here so in this way we can save our important um, uh, websites in different category or in different session and we can move from one session to another session in just one click let's say you want to create one new session just click here on this add new session and then here name the session let's say um, movie live movie uh, live and then here it will be created as you can see and now if i just click on this activate then here inside this movie live we are now and here inside this movie live i don't have any uh, website or anything saved so i will search here best movies uh, 2023 and then let's i will search here best hollywood movies and then i will search here best bollywood movies um, uh, let's say bollywood comedy movies and then let's say i will um, browse into some browse uh, website so let's say inside here i will go randomly i'm going here and see they will be saved here automatically they will be saved here now let's say you do not have any interest to explore this movie right now you want to explore uh, the tech news right now so just click here on this tech news section and click on this activate then in one click you will just go to this um, tech news section and then let's say after some time you do not have any interest on tech news now you want to go to your movie life again so just click here on this activate inside the movie life then you will be redirected into your movie live sessions hope you get idea in this way you can here uh, add as many as uh, sessions you want to add and then it will also help you to increase your productivity hope you get idea guys after that to make you more distraction free they have one mute option as you can see you can mute yourself for one hour until this night until tomorrow you can block all distraction and here you can select uh, which websites are distracting you and then uh, these websites will be completely blocked actually you can activate the distraction blocker here and here see you can select on which time on which day you want to block them and here redirection rule that means whenever you will visit let's say um, you have visited to youtube.com but youtube is distracting for you then automatically it will be redirected to this website so you can select here in this way if you visit instagram then it will be visited to this website if you visit facebook.com it will be automatically visited to this website so in this way you can select your uh, actually distractions website and you can select higher on which time you will be redirected and it will help you to um, get a more distraction free life actually 
hope you get idea and then they have appearance they have cpu monitor option tab suspender option so you can have a lot of feature a lot of um, settings here that will keep you completely distractionless so these are the things and you can enter to focus mode just by clicking on Control shift f hope you get idea guys how these things will be helpful for you after that here in the sitting section they have one another feature which is integration with your calendar you can integrate this sidekick browser with your calendar and then it will help you to monitor all your event all your tasks actually from here so these are the things that you will get inside this sidekick browser that's really one awesome uh, feature actually i really like this browser because um, they have a lot of feature that we do not get in other um, browsers actually so if you think guys you need this type of software that will help you to make your life more productive uh, to increase the um, difficulty and to reduce the distractions of your life then you can get this sidekick browser lifetime deal from AppSumo. i'll give the url of the sidekick browser lifetime deal in the description of this video just go to the description of this video and get the 10 percent discount on this sidekick browser lifetime deal it's an affiliate link guys if you use this link to purchase this amazing deal I'll get a small commission without costing you any additional money. So if you think guys this video is helpful for you then please consider using this link to purchase this amazing deal. And the last thing is visit our website www.paceyvan.com to get more tips and tricks about growing online business. Also join our VIP lifetime deal discussion group through the description of this video. And if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel yet guys then please consider subscribing this channel. Thanks again for watching this video.